hello guys welcome back to control tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix scorn is having unreal engine for crash error or we are having black screen or you're having crashing or you're having absolutely freezing when you're trying to launch the game on your steam and you're having a lot of these kind of troubles and how we can completely fix this up so scorn is very recently released on the steam and many of the users are crossing so we're going to talk about how we can completely fix this app so let's dive into it so we have already updated some of the articles and we have already updated some of the videos on this scone you can also refer it so let's move to the workaround so the first one when you're having this trouble all you have to do is you just have to do a restart you have to do a restart on uh, your pc or laptop whatever it may be you just have to do a restart and most probably after doing a restart the issue has to be fixed and this is what you have to do and moving to the next one is all about you have to do is a clean installation of graphics card and for that what you have to do is i'll be providing link in the description so you just have to open this now from here you will be having two options the first one is all about to the nvidia and the second one is for the amd so right now as you can see if you're on the geforce it means on the nvidia you have to give the respective details over here you have to give the respective details and you have to download and install it and move to the next one is all about on the amd as you can see you have to select the graphics card you have to select the model over here and you have to select and install it and most probably after updating the drivers manually uh, the issue has to be fixed in some cases but if it's not still working then we just have to move to the next one next one is all about you have to give the commands on the launch option which is uh, dx11 and dx12 for that what you have to do is just have to click over here then what you have to just have to go over here in the library so here imagine that you're having the scone game so i'll show you an example with forza horizon 5 so don't get confused so this is what you have to do so just right click over here and you have to go to the properties now from here if you go like this you'll be getting the launch option same step for every game so here you have to give or go with the command dx11 first and then you just have to launch the game if it's not working just change the uh, command to dx12 then you just have to launch the game in some cases this might work right after launching the game the issue might be solving out even after trying this if it's still not working then we just have to move to the next one next one is all about you have to run the game or you have to run it on the game as administrator for example here as you can see i'm having lawn moving simulator so i'll show with the name with you an example so here you just have to right click go for over here and navigate to properties so uh, this is actually not because this is just a shortcut but in some case you will be getting it or else you can just search for here for forza horizon you can search here as you can see the game is here for the forza horizon 5 simultaneously you have to share for you have to search for scorn right and once you search for the scorn you will be able to get the game like this and you have to right click and you have to make sure that you will be getting the option to run it as an administrator or you can go to the file location from here you have to right click on this and go to properties like this now from here you can try to launch the game as an administrator and that might be working out in some cases and if it's not working even after trying to launch the game as administrator if it's not working then we just have to move to the next one next one is all about you have to run the game on dedicated graphics card for that you just have to go over here you have to search for graphic settings you have to search for graphic settings you have to click on this one and right now as you can see here i have added two games so here as you can see the song is not added so what you have to just have to click on the browse and you have to navigate to the game but once it is added this will be like this you'll be getting the scorn over here but you have to change this to high performance for that you just have to click over here and as you can see there is an a option so you have to click on this one and you have to set this to high performance for scorn here i'm showing you an example forza horizon 5 so don't get confused you have to set this to uh, you have to select the same for scorn and set this to high performance and this is what you have to do moving to the next one is all about that is all about you have to install uh, visual c plus plus for that you just have to uh, i'll be giving link in the description that will take you to this 
so as you can see this is microsoft visual c plus plus redistributable so here you have to go and you have to click on 86 or 64 you have to select the respective file which one you need you have to select this one or this one whatever it may be and once it is successfully downloaded you just have to install one which is according to your pc if it is 86 bit go for this one if it is 64 bit go for this one once it is done uh, what you have to just have to follow the instruction and you just have to install it and launch the game and most probably that has to be worked even after trying this if it's still not working the next is all about you have to install DirectX as you can see this is DirectX so from here you have to download it as you can see this link will be given in the description just click on this one and go for download download and install DirectX and most probably after installing the DirectX once you launch the game that might be working out and I'm not saying it's a sure but it has worked for many users even after trying this if it's still not working the next is all about you have to disable steam overlay so you just have to open this and now what you have to do is as you can see this is the for uh, this is the steam and from here what you have just have to uh, right click and you have to go to properties now as you can see if you go to any game over here you will be getting this cone so you just have to right click over here and go to the properties and as you can see there is an option called enable the steam game overlay so what you have to do is just have to select this or you have to untick this one you have to disable this so you just have to untick once it is done you just have to close this and this is what you have to do and once it is done successfully you have done with this one the next is all about you have to update the windows to the latest version for that you just have to go over here and what you have to do is you just have to go over here and you have to search for uh, go to settings even one possible way and you have to click on the windows and now from here you just have to click on retry options or if you're having any kind of update just go for update and most probably they'll be checking the update and download and install the latest version which is available on a case and most probably the issue has to be worked and this is what you have to do even after trying this if it's still not working even after updating the windows if it's still not working the next is all about you have to verify the integrity of game files for that you just have to go to the settings over here and you have to select the installed game on a pc or laptop as i said earlier i'll show you an example with forza horizon 5 so you just have to right click and you just have to click on the properties now from here navigate to local files and click on verify integrity of game file so this is actually uh, fixing out any corrupted files if you are going through any corrupted files so you have to do the same step for all the games if you are going to do any game the respective the name of the game you have to do the same procedure and this is what you have to do and this is what you have to do when you're trying to do this step and most probably the issue regarding this has to be fixed and even after trying this if it's still not working and you're having a lot of trouble i have two more suggestions or a couple of suggestions which you have to try out and one among them is you have to make sure the date and time is completely correct as you can see here is you can see there is a date and time so you have to make sure that it's correct so for that you just have to go to settings now from here you have to go to system and from here what you have to do is just have to check for uh, sorry you have to go to time and language and from here you have to click on date and time and language and from here you have to make sure they are correct and that is what you have to do and this is what you have to try in your own case and this is what what you have to do and most probably the issue has to be fixed by changing out the date and time automatically and if you're setting this up and that is what you have to do even after trying this with if it's not still working then we just have to move to the next one next one is all about you have to make sure that you're logged in the same account on the microsoft store on the xbox as you can see if you go to the microsoft store you have already signed it in over here so you just have to make sure that you have signed with the same account and the password on the xbox right you have to do this on the xbox also so here as you can see this is mine so with this email id as well as the password should be the same and you have to log in then that is what you have to do move to the next one and last and the least one is all about i have to give you the next one that you just have to uninstall the game and reinstall it back and most probably the issue will be completely fixed and these are the basic steps which you have to try out when you are trying to fix the issue regarding the scone unreal engine 4 crash black screen or it is having crashing or freezing in between and how you can fix this up and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification see you soon in the next video peace out bye 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 bye